With this video we are starting our new project at Dressbook and there will be a few separate parts. In the first part of our project we are going to build our front end Angular application and if you want to stop there you can. All data we are going to be working with is going to be hard coded. After that part is done we are going to build our back end web API project. Our web API project will be working with the database and the way it's going to work our front end application will send a request for data to our web API project and our web API project will request data from the database. It will get it back and it's going to be displayed on the screen. Like I mentioned, our front end application will be built with Angular and we're going to style it using Angular material. Our back end will be a C-sharp.net core web API project and for database we're going to be using Microsoft SQL Server. When everything is done, we're going to introduce login logout functionality and for that we'll be using Microsoft Identity. And when that part is done, we're going to publish everything in Azure. Let's start building our Angular application and the first step before we do it, let's check the version of Angular CLI we'll be using. The latest version of Angular CLI is version 16 and it came out last week. The date is May 3rd. 2023. So let's open command prompt and check our version. And I'm going to type ng version. And as you can see, my CLI version is 15.2.2. To upgrade it, let me go to this website. I need to run this command and I'm going to just copy it and go back to my command prompt. I'm going to paste it there and I'm going to run it. The new version was installed, so let's check the version again. And as you can see now, I have the latest version, ver version 16. In the next step, let's open the folder and I already created a folder. It's called address book Angular. And I'm going to click inside the address bar and type CMD, press enter. And the command prompt will be open inside this folder. So now I'm going to open VS Code. And the way you do it, you type code space dot enter. I'm going to close the welcome screen. And here I need to open a terminal. And there are a few ways to do it. You can go to view terminal or you can press control back tick. Or you can actually go to terminal and press new terminal. Let's create new project. I'm going to type ng new address book Angular, press enter. I have this question, would you like to add Angular routing? And I want to say yes, because we're going to have multiple pages and we're going to be navigating from one page to another. So I need routing for that. I'm going to press yes, enter and here. I have a few options with the arrow down. I'm going to go to SCSS and I'm going to press enter. If you don't want to use SCSS, you can leave it at CSS, but I usually choose SCSS. It's going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and restart when it's all done. The project has been created and let's go inside this folder and look at the structure of our application. First of all, let's go to our package.json and as you can see, the version of Angular is 16 and CLI also created this git ignore file and here as you can see also, the git was successfully initialized and what it means, we can start using it and let's right away publish to GitHub. So if you don't want to go through this process, you can just pull it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this icon, source control. And here I'm going to type initial commit. I can just type initial publish branch and I'm going to publish it at the public repository. It was successfully published. And the next step, let's install Angular material. Let me close this, go back to our files. Before we do it, let's look at the official Angular material website. If you Google Angular material, you will get the very first link. And here, if you click on get started, you're going to have all instructions how to install Angular material. 
This is the command we need to run to install Angular Material. So let me grab it, Control C, and I'm gonna go back. And here I'm gonna run this command in our terminal. We're getting this error. The command is not available when running the Angular CLI outside a workspace. And what it means, before we run this command, we need to go inside this folder. If I type D IR, it stands for directory. You can see that I have this folder address book Angular and I need to go inside that folder. To do that, I'm gonna type CD, that stands for change directory, and I'm gonna type address book Angular. Press enter. Now that I'm inside that folder, I'm gonna paste that command again, press enter. There will be a few questions I have to answer and here I'm gonna confirm that I want to install it. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to install it so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. There will be another question about what theme you want to use. I usually keep it at the very first one in Dingo Pink so I'm gonna press enter and I want to set up global angular topography styles, yes. We want to include and enable animations, so I'll press enter. And now the process completed. Here on the left side, under source control, you can see that there are six files that have been modified. Let's look at those files, so I'm gonna click here. And as you can see in all these six files, Angular Material made some changes. Let's just look at one of them. After I click here, I can see the difference between the previous and the current versions. Here you can see what exactly was done when Angular Material was installed. Let me close it and let me create another commit and we're gonna call it Angular Material Installed. I'm gonna click on this arrow and I'm going to both commit and sync it. I'm gonna say yes. Yes again. And all our changes are now in GitHub. Let's go back to files. And before we do anything else, let's check if our application runs. I'm gonna type ng serve dash o, enter, and it's gonna compile an application and it's gonna open it in the browser for me. As you can see our application is running and let's check if our Angular material is working. Let's remove all these, we don't need it. It's gonna be in source, app, app component HTML. Let me close the left panel. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna press Control A to select all of it and I'm gonna press delete. I'm gonna save it, Control S. And as you can see, we don't have anything. Now let's go to our Angular Material website. And here we're gonna click components. On the left panel, press button. Let me click on this view code button. In Angular Material, before we use any component, we need to bring a package inside our application. So if we click on this API, tab, right on top we have this line. Import this package, so we're gonna copy it, Control c and I'm gonna go back to our VS code, and here I'm gonna go to our files, and to this app module TS file. I'm gonna paste that line right here, let me make some space, and I'm gonna type a comment so we know that everything below will be our Angular material related packages. So I'm gonna just type Angular material and to comment it out, I'm gonna press Control K, Control C, or you can type a double forward slash. And underneath, I'm gonna bring our package. And now I need to grab this package, mat button module. Double click, Control C, and I'm gonna include it inside this array of imports. Comma, enter, control V, control S to save it. And now we are ready to use our buttons. Let's go to our Angular Material website. 
And let's go to our examples. Click on this view code button. And let's grab a few buttons. Let me grab five of them. Control C, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to my app component HTML. I'm gonna place it there. Control V. I'm gonna save it. As you can see, we have our buttons. Let's put a line and bring a few more buttons. Let's go back to our website. Save it. And we have now more buttons. I'm going to create another commit. And the message is going to be Angular Material Buttons. I'm going to commit it. Yes. And I'm going to sync the changes. Let me go to GitHub to make sure it's there. And as you can see, the project is right here. And it was updated one minute ago. Before we are done, let me show a few more things about Angular Material. If you want to see how it works in a real project, you can click on this button for Stack Blitz. And it will open another window. And on the right side, you will be able to see what the final result. And on the left side, you'll be able to see the code. So it takes a few minutes to get it running and load everything. So I already did it before. So this is how it's going to look. And here, by changing on the left side your code, you can see the changes you're making on the right side. So, for example, if here I want to disable this button and to see how it works, let me do it. So, this is primary. This is going to be this button. So, let me just type disabled. And as soon as I typed it, as you can see, my button changed to disabled. Another thing. There are three tabs for each of the components overview and here you can see a short version of how to work with this component. API will give you the long version of how to work with this component. And in the examples tab you can see different examples and like I said you can click on this code you can see the code for that specific example. In the next video we'll continue working on our application and we will start creating pages and routing for our address book project. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.